If I had to describe this wipe with one word, I would choose clutch. This video is filled with massive plays, major struggles, and even revenge. But the thing that stood out the most was how on numerous occasions, we made the impossible happen. This is our story. <sighs> Welcome to Rust. Today, we're playing with Wally1K on Blue Lagoon, Maine. I've been mostly playing Blue Lagoon um, US Solo Duo Trio. I probably would have played that again for this run, but I wanted to switch it up a bit and play the main server and run into some bigger groups. I think me and Wally can handle it, hopefully. Yeah, we just loaded in. Wipe happened about 20 minutes ago. And so we're just gonna get right into this. Is that an oil barrel on that? That is. Okay, I'm going for that. Yo, Wally. Yo, Blue Yo. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's up, man? Um, I just got verbally and physically assaulted by someone in the forest. Damn, bro. Welcome to Rust, am I right? I blame the server. Okay. Well, listen, I just spawned on the beach right next to a boat, and there's a oil barrel out here in the water. I'm gonna smash that, get a get some low grade, and uh, use it to get somewhere. I don't know where, I haven't even checked the map yet. Maybe I take it up to outpost and like hit barrels on the way up there in the water. Oh yeah, that's actually a good play. Could be huge, yeah. Oh! While I was getting my start out in the ocean, Wally was getting his start at Bandit Camp. He managed to gather a bunch of components while running inland and struck big at the wheel. Okay. <gasps> oh my God. All right, Blue. Yo. So basically, I just gambled 200 scrap and got up to 550. I'm gonna buy an M92, research no, uh -huh. pistol bullet, and then I'm gonna get an M9 with the bullets right now. No way. That is actually insane. <laughs> I can't believe Dude, that. I, I was like, please make my wife so easy. And it just hits. I was like, yes. Wally already bought a gun, one of the first guns without a doubt to exist in this wipe. It would give us a lot of security roaming early on. Meanwhile, I was doing my part by collecting a lot of components while out at sea. We then decided to meet up at our chosen build spots. Fishing village, underwater labs, and even small oil rig was in play at this location. It was out of the way enough to avoid being in direct conflict with big groups, but also active enough for PvP that we could handle. Perfect for our playstyle. There's a base two stories tall, pretty decently looking base. Um, on the other side of the water, it's like F4. Like we'd be neighbors, but that's like, I wanna build next to that river. I think that would be huge. You down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm H5. I'm just gonna zoom over. I see you. Oh, there's a couple bases here. Be careful as a guy right here. Oh, they have a fucking river base already. Oh, damn, yeah. Hey, this is you, right? Yeah, yeah, Invite me team. Uh, like literally, probably get it like right here. This is good right here. Just two by two it? Yeah. Oh God. Fast. You have a door? Huge. Oh God, roof. Someone's coming. Oh shit. Should I wood any of the roof? No, no, no. Fast, motherfucker, yes! Dude. <laughs> Do you have, Do you a, have torch? a torch? No, oh, I fuck. threw it to pick a pumpkin. I, I can make a camp, I can make a camp. With the base secured just in time, our next step was to recycle at Fishing Village and while we were there, buy diving equipment to do underwater labs. Where are we gonna go? We're we gonna go outpost or? No, we were gonna go Fishing Village. Okay. Um, I, I'm just taking this ridge so that we can't get jumped from above. Is a guy coming from our base? I think it's they're, they're on the triangle base, on the triangle base. Okay, some random shit. They're actually coming out to us. This is an easy kill. As soon as we shoot that M9, people are gonna swarm. Hit the kill on three. Oh, I'm actually hit. There's three, dude. Yeah, fuck this. I thought it was gonna be two. I'm just gonna push back. 
We are going to be outnumbered all day long. Yeah, fuck. All right, we probably should have looked a little closer at the map before building here, because our main source of components, which was the labs nearby, was much smaller than average. We still gave it a chance, but there was literally only one or two crates in here. Farming this just wasn't worth it. So we quickly left this lab and ended up stumbling across another duo farming the ocean. Get two guys on the thing right there, all right. Pushing. You killed, killed him! him. Watch out, boy's gonna hop up. No, what the hell? I can't believe that. I got it. He's got like 130 crude and some more comps. After depoting, Wally and I had a backup plan. It was a farther drive, but there was a better underwater lab further down the shore towards oil rig. We decided to go for this instead, but while we were out there, plans changed. There's a shark here. We can kill it and get some crates. It's over there to the right, southwest. Shotgun trap. See it? Hit it. I think it's dead. Yeah, we killed it. <laughs> nice. You have a combat knife, don't you? What does it give you? Found a DB. That's actually huge if I can find some shells. We have six buckshot on base. I am genuinely going to go back to base to grab those. All right. <laughs> Quick trips. All right, man. Ready for you. Dude, someone's doing small rig right now. It's getting called in. No, uh. Yeah, look. That's got to be a six, man. It's got to be. I'm not fighting that shit. We do have diving set. I mean, <laughs> shit. <laughs> It wouldn't be a bad idea, but like, it's like, are we gonna. Uh, the M9's like our fucking up right now. Yeah, do you have any idea how huge it would be if we won that though? Holy fuck. It's up to you, dog. It's up uh, to you. Oh, fuck. I don't know. It could be huge content. How about this? We go for it. Worst case scenario, we die and then we run labs for with like nail gun crossbow. Yeah. For... Okay. You know me. I'm always down. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. This was the first oil rig take of the wipe, and we were about to risk our only gun to counter it. But what's a Wally blueprint duo without a little risk? I'm up. I see them here. Three. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Another one. Nice. All dead. Nice. Wally. Wally. Bro? Wally. I won HP. Pumpkin. One more, one more, one more, one more. I, I heard one more. These inventories are crazy. What the fuck? Yep. I'm, I'm full. No. I see the last. Dude, you could just go with the guns and fucking scuba out. Dude, I'd say just leave. Yeah. Jump down that ladder and run under. Dead, 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 dead. I can't even get back. I could go buy a bow right now. 100% buy a bow, dude. This is so worth. Dude, this bolt has an 8x. Yeah, there's so much comps I can't loot. How are you a four-man group and there's a single person holding up below? Boat pulling up. All dead. Wait. Yeah, all dead. You killed all four again? All naked with guns or something. I don't know what they had exactly. Uh, yeah, it was them. Dude, they're, they're so down bad. They came back with crossbow, pipe, and revolver. Let's pull up to the dock. Get up here, bro. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, all these bodies you need to loot. Ooh, two MP5s. MP5. Not bad. Oh! Bad, this is bad. I'm 
I'm all the way at the bottom. Watching ladder. One dead. Another one dead. Can you cover? Oh! God damn. There's them again. Two more stars. Did, did you get one star? No. I think one flew into the fucking abyss. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's that, whatever. Alright, let's go home. <sighs> ten rifle bodies I have on me. And what, you have like ten diesel? Seven, yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude, I can't. I'm so happy we did it. I'm so happy we did it. Dude, in my heart, I was like, these guys aren't going to be holding ladder. And when we and we and when we take ladder, we win. And dude, you fucking... I can't believe you killed them all around that corner. Holy shit. <laughs> so yeah, this just put us ahead of the game by a huge margin. We went from an M92 pistol to nearly two rows of good guns, a bunch of extra gear, and a ton of components. We decided to take those components to outpost on our way back to base and recycle them safely. And while we were there, we bought an oil refinery and a jackhammer. We then resumed our drive back to base. But when we arrived, our area started to heat up. That margin we thought we were ahead by was actually much smaller than we thought. When does cargo usually come out? When Heli comes out. Should be like, I don't know, it should be soon, I think. You got her face. He regretted that instantly. Four, five. He's down. We should go, we should go, we should go, we should go, we should go. I shot one dead. I shot another dead. They're coming from the, the circle base. Hit him. Dude, they're, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! There's, they're all three of them! Geared. Hit one. You can hit, I can hit their legs. Dude, we don't fucking space. Uh, I'll make a box. I'm still deep hunting. I don't think they're behind that base anymore. They're uphill now, like 190. Yeah, they're right there. I might push this, dude. One's full dead. Nice. Or down. One's on me. Dead. Nice, dead. Hit that one once. I can't peek him, I'm low. I see him. Hit him. Kill the naked. He's dead. Nice. Right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay. I got a SAR and a Tommy. Nice. Your kids are that trio we just fought was our neighbors. They seemed to be progressing just as fast as we were, but because we won the fight, we quickly became the victims of door camping. What's your research in there, buddy? Your mom. You dead? I think there's one more out back, but they're all dead right outside the door. Another one dead. Careful right side. Oh, we're good. All dead. They didn't even place the TC, they just said, good luck expanding for no reason. They just didn't have enough. <laughs> so dumb. I'm genuinely about to just place outers. We're gonna call our neighbors who live just down the shore from us, the Circle Base Trio. If you want to track this team best as you can throughout this story, TSMD is the name to remember. After wiping them fully geared and now outside our base with DBs, we were temporarily safe again. But if you play Rust, you know that safety doesn't last long. We decided to use this limited downtime to our advantage and expand the base. You may have noticed that we have garage doors now. That's because with the ridiculous amount of scrap we gained from recycling, I was able to not only make a tier two workbench, but also tech tree down to garage door. Then while Wally farmed our hill close by with the jackhammer, I expanded our base, starting with external TCs. This trio was clearly planning to grief us, so I wanted to prevent that. Then with our remaining stone, I expanded to a second floor with roof access. 
It was by the time that we finished up this, that cargo ship spawned in. It couldn't have been better timing. Our base was now in a state that was impossible to raid this early in the wipe, so we felt really comfortable heading out to this. If we could win the first small oil and the first cargo run, we'd be sitting pretty. And with a literal donation spawn point, there was no way we weren't going to be the first ones on there. We were really excited. But you know what else is exciting? My partnership with Gamersubs. So before this story continues, I'm going to talk a little bit about these guys. I'm very happy to announce the start of my partnership with Gamer Subs. They make zero sugar, zero calorie, caffeinated and non-caffeinated supplemental drinks. It's much healthier and cheaper than the alternatives that are out there. You can literally taste the difference. It gives me a smooth, natural burst of energy that I occasionally use to wake me up while gaming. What I mostly use it for, however, is to focus while editing my YouTube videos. Trust me when I say this, ditch whatever you use now, and if you're not using anything, try Gamer Subs. If the decision isn't already easy enough, we're giving away thousands of sample packs for free if you use my link down below. Free shipping worldwide, no payment information required. These free sample packs are going to go fast. So if you miss out on this, you can still use my code BLUE for 10% off on the entire site. You wanna head over to our neighbors, kinda to check it out so we know what it looks like. Cause the base is like, car goes out, car goes out. Let's go get that boat. Where is it? Oh my God. It's so perfect. <laughs> oh my God. It's a literal donation, dude. Going on roof, watch roof. I'm trying to shoot their twig, they have like some weird thing there. Do you have low grade? Uh huh. Just so you know, we don't have a door in our roof. We didn't have enough for that. So they can ladder up and like wait in oh. there. That's, that's when we just get back. Standing. Yeah. <laughs> Try to just go underneath and clear that all. Yeah. Oh, we got a crate back here right at the rib. This is good. There's a boat chilling at Fishing Village. It's not coming yet, though. Yeah, they're just it's chilling like, there. Uh, maybe three, Look actually. at him. That was four. <laughs> Another boat pulling up. From where? Uh, 70. He's, they're at the front of the boat beach side. Hit one twice. One full dead. There's none on the boat. They were, like, naked. It's crate unlocked over here. I'm going to check it. Oh! <laughs> what is it? C4 supply drop M39 armored door. So nice, dude. If we get one more C4, I think we full send the circle, dude. Uh, three man in the front on a boat. There is one swimming. I shot one. Yeah, one's dead. I hear him swimming on the left. Yeah. They're scubaing on the back. They're scubaing on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One's on the back. You need to get over here. You need to get over here. Okay, get, get ready to peek. Like, just crouch up with me. Ready? He's there. Wow. Give me C4. HLMG, Tommy, MP5. Armored door, garage door, custom. Nothing, nothing crazy. Rib. Well, we still got Damn. the airdrop. Might get something from that. We actually have an aiming module. We got two more S's. All right, watch out for goobers waiting in here. Yep. One dead. Dead. MP5 sucks, man. He's dead. One more. Another one, one more. dead. So you kill two? Another one dead. Okay, that should be all. Holy goobers moment. I knew that was gonna happen, dude. Holy dude. fucking shit. It's, it's the fucking it's the triangle kids. The ones we stole the boat from. Yeah. 
I knew, I knew that they were going to be doing that. Good job getting on roof there. Even more weapons. Nice. Yeah. Great cargo run, huh? <laughs> yep. The cargo run was a success, and despite the circle base trio camping us at our base, we read the play like a book and got all of the loots back inside. It was at this point that TSMD and his group weren't just our neighbors, they were now our enemies. We already got one C4 plus an airdrop at cargo, so like Wally said, if we happen to get another C4 from the airdrop, we might just want to full send raiding them. I wasn't so sure about the plan, as circle bases don't have as predictable of a layout as, say, a 2x2. Two two. Without the splash damage of rockets, we'd have to get pretty lucky guessing where the main loot and TC was. So I decided to go for a quick farm run towards their base, with the main intention of understanding its weak points. Killed one. Yeah, their, their base is so open. In the back. I headshot him. Killed him, he's full dead. I see a box in there. Dude, it's so open in there. There's so much, like, boxes in one door. It's like drops, drop boxes and shit. It is, like, really easy to raid. While I was checking out the base, Wally called in the airdrop, and guess what this motherfucker got from it? C4, AK. Oh my... Oh Let's my, go. Let's go. oh my god. Let's go. Now that we had enough for a stone wall, and now that we had an idea of the layout, the raid was on. We waited for day, and then headed over. Oh my god, he was running up with a fucking pipe. Kill them. Going in. Come over here as fast as you can. I don't think we're stashed. Oh, I'm dead. Shoddy trap. I'm a brick. I have a bag here, though. Nice! Full he's kill him? Dead. Another Door's naked, another closed. naked, another naked. Oh, he's- the door's closed? No shot. Honestly, use the C4. Come over what? here and- come- yes. You come over here and use one C4 on the front door. Oh no, he's in there. This was the jump up. Jump up's right here on this wall. TC's right here. TC's right here. Right here? Yeah, yeah. Which one? Uh, that, that one. one? Yeah, yeah. Did that do it? Yeah, fuck it. I literally have a pipe. He has my. He has my. Watch out, my I'm dead. Where is Where he? He's I'm dead. I think he died in the C4. He did. And it's TC. Do you, have, do, you, do you have a bag? Nope. There's naked already running no up. No way. It's him. Where, where was my MP5? I don't even know. Fuck. No way we lose. I don't know how he was outside. And once. Oh, he jumped off the roof. That's what he did. I didn't even hear the roof go off. Yeah, that 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 is that really sucks. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm grabbing the ladder. Killed him. Uh, he closed the door up top. That is so lame. This was a bad sting. We lost the two C4, and now that they knew we were onto them, we'd never get this chance again. We had no choice but to move on. But Wally stayed behind a little bit longer. He's dead. Lou, I'm deep. How deep? Their top loot room. And I have a full inventory of like everything. And I can actually pickaxe out. You need to kill them at their front door. Yeah, when yeah. They come I'm, out. I'm coming back right now. Okay, they can't get inside. I'm watching. No! He killed you? Yeah, MP5. There's no, there's no way for me to get in there either. Dude, it's one. No. It's one door to all of their fucking shit at the top. Kill them on roof. Wait, I'm, I'm dead through the wall. This may have been a tough loss, but on the bright side of all of this, we knew the exact layout of their base. The TC, the main loot, everything. So if the chance of a redemption raid was ever possible, we had the advantage. Now, we just had to make up for this loss. That was when Wally directed me to a compound he found to jump in and see if their large furnaces had any goodies for us. They're expanding a lot. Fuck, man. Actually pain. We'll get the opportunity again. I'm not, I'm not tweaking. 
Oh, their furnace is off now? Shit. Might still be stuffed in them. I'm gonna wait for you and we'll go. We'll go. I don't even need a ladder over the first. Tell me when you're here. Holy, it's a chonker. Alright, I'm here. Behind this TC. You can do it. Oh, what? Oh my god, it's all the soap we fucking needed. Nuh-uh. Blue. Yeah. Please watch that fucking roof. I'm, I'm watching it best I can, dude. Oh my god, even the metal. I'm out. I gotta get out. Ladder over, baby. Dude. Row of sulfur plus... Oh my god. No way. Oh my god. So worth <laughs> a fucking robbery. Full kit, 10. Oh, I'm dead. Are you dead? No, I'm still alive. Nope, I just got beamed. Nice weapon update. TSMD! Those resources from those furnaces was exactly what we needed to make up the loss of the fail raid. But on our way back to base, the same people we lost the raid to jumped us. We couldn't let the circle base trio win two big encounters in a row. So we headed back over with two more kits and the bolty to try and cut them off on their way back to base. I see that, that that's a different guy. That's a full, full road sign. I can't aim. Oh, that's you, holy. One push down the hill. He's down the hill on you. What does that mean? Yeah, he's, he's like right on you somewhere. Oh, no, they didn't. They're above me. I'm dead. He's in the forest next to you. Yeah. That's your one. I headshot him and he's not dead. It was a full road sign. Oh, wow, I'm dead. I'm trying to like crawl down the hill so it's harder to loot me, but I'm instantly dead. So lame. Damn. These kids are just winning and winning and winning on us now. Yeah, no, like that those full road sign guys aren't even them. It's some randoms. Are you sure? No, it's not them. It's 100 percent not them. When we died originally, it was to the circle based trio. But between us and them on the way back, another fully geared group was in the mix. Whether TSMD was able to sneak around these guys and get back to their base, we didn't know. But the point was, we were now on a bad losing streak. While Wally went AFK for a bit, I slowed down the pace and organized our boxes. This was mainly so we can inventory. Guns wise, we were still doing good, but on the armor side of things, we had almost none. Not even a single hazmat suit. Our base at least was still progressing nicely, but on that note, so was our neighbors. They expanded much further past the circle base now. So when Wally got back, we headed over to check out the upgrades they made. I think he might have like just gone AFK. Yeah, I see him in here with a SAR. I can kill him right now and get a SAR. He's here? He's here? Yeah, yeah. Killed him. I'm below. Like, crack, you just toss it and I'll go. Where's this MP5? I think it dropped back here. I don't see an MP5. It 100% dropped. I see it. Okay, here, take this. Got it. That's this full kit. Uh, let me, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave with this. I feel like the, the guys are gonna come back. Okay. He's, he's coming in naked. Hit him. We need this armor. Dude, I can't fucking climb down because, like, do these seriously block you from getting down? Dude, since when can you not jump down this? I mean, now I'm just stuck. I have to relog. Yeah, of course I'm dead. I may have gotten stuck and died while trying to relog, but we got even more intel on their base's layouts and also a free MP5 kit. But because we paid their base a visit, they decided to do the same to us. Figures. Oh, 
If I place these here, then they can't pick them up and use them again. Oh god, there's another one. Like, fuck me, man. I put an end to the door camping, but this also marked the end of the day. You may have noticed that Wally was AFK again for all of this, and that was because we were getting off. It was somewhat early in the night, but Wally was heading out to go eat somewhere and we were both demotivated anyways. So with the end of day one coming up, I think it's time I let you know about Wally's plans. Before beginning our run today, Wally warned me that he had to go to a concert tomorrow. It would be starting at 5 p.m. Eastern for him, so we figured that with the full day of Thursday, which was today, and half of the day on Friday, which was tomorrow, we could get enough content for a video. We already have a revenge story brewing up, and we had a really good start. There was just an unlucky sequence of events that we had to make up for. So before hopping off, I added doors to the base to hopefully avoid getting offline raided. If we don't pull something off before 5pm tomorrow, Wally would have to go for the rest of the night, and he wasn't available the following day. So what does this mean? It means that the wipe would be over. We'd be cutting it close, but first things first, did we survive the night? Okay, day two? And it seems... Like, we're good. I was really worried about getting offline today. It is currently 5.48 a.m. Pacific. I've got a really weird sleep schedule going right now. Like, I'm getting tired around 9 p.m., but it's because I just went to Scotland. So, like, I'm, I don't know if it's jet lag or if, I'm, if my sleep schedule is just genuinely fucked. I'm waking up at 5 a.m. Like, I don't know why. But yeah, it kind of works out because, you know, if anyone was planning to raid us in the early AMs, I am going to be here. Wow, those guys have wind turbine and compound now. Fuck. We need rockets to raid that. We have explosive. That's one piece of the puzzle. We need rocket launcher and rocket. That's going to be pain. I might run labs. It was really early in the day, and last night, Wally said he wouldn't be on today for another two to three hours. So in that time, I was gonna farm. I just want to leave with what I have. I think someone's doing a small rig again. Jesus! So that Chinook was definitely coming from small rig. So I think someone's actually taking it. I think we're going to leave my boat out here with all of my shit. And then like swim up. It's so early in the morning. They cannot expect people to show up. Okay, hopefully no one finds this. I doubt anyone will. Let's go.
Holy fuck, there's a boat. I don't think he's with them. This is actually perfect. Did he know I was there? Could be another one. No, he's got Tommy. I think this is the last guy. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? He killed the guy there. Yeah, he killed this guy. I gotta warm up at the fucking exhaust. Oh! Um, yes please! Red card and blue card. I had no idea that there was a guy up here. Large furnace, bolty, MP5, armored door. Okay. So we have all of this. Stack as much of that as I can. I need these hazmats. Yeah, that'll do. That will do. Wow, what a run though. What a run. Finally, a big win to start making up for the losses from yesterday. It was exactly what we needed. Now, I just had to get home. Okay, good, he isn't loaded out of his mind. I wish I could loot his shit though, but I can't. No way that just fucking happened, bro. Oh my god! I don't even know who killed me. Oh my god! Oh my god. I, I got nothing else to say. I have nothing else to say. That That is definitely the biggest punch in the gut I've ever experienced ever playing Rust. Biggest fucking fuck up. What are the chances that on a server that has 70 people right now, because it is 7 a.m. in the fucking morning, that there is a roof camper at X3? Look at that! It's a useless place to build! Actually, what are the fucking chances? I wasn't just mad or disappointed. I was pissed. What made matters even worse was checking the combat log. I figured that maybe one of the two guys I killed out in the water respawned at his base, which happened to be right there, and killed me. But every player in Rust has a unique ID. You can see this ID when you shoot a player or when a player shoots you. So when I compared the IDs of the two players I shot in the water with the ID of the guy who was roof camping me, I found out that they didn't match. So this wasn't even them defending their kits. It was truly just a random player who happened to hear the gunshots, who happened to be online at 7am in the morning, and who happened to live in the most isolated location on the map. He was in the perfectly right place at the perfectly right time, and because of that, he just got the most free loot haul of his life. My luck couldn't have been worse. I was in denial, so I ran the shores near my base to try and find another boat, to get back over there as fast as I could. I guess I should have just kept going, but obviously I gotta check the body of the guy I killed. I mean, there's no way that I, I don't check that body. It's just like, I never in a billion years would have anticipated that there would be a roof camper in the middle of nowhere. Okay, it can't do that. Awesome. Fan-fucking-tastic. Get 
dumb shit died to the barn. Fucking 34 HP, I don't have enough fucking health for this shit, dude. See if that baits him to peek. I mean, I just got four stars. Like, that's pretty good. But I had so, so, so much more when I died the first time. So you just met a new group. We'll call them the Lighthouse Boys. It was a good little victory against them, securing me four extra SARS. But like I said, it was nowhere near what I could have had. Still feeling bitter about it, I headed back over to the scene of the crime, hoping for something. Yep. Is this my boat? Oh! Okay. I got that shit back. That's huge. I'm just gonna check it out. Definitely a base I need to raid. Yeah, so... I know exactly how this base works. That's the single door airlock right there. It's a two by one. Single door airlock. Up. Over. And then that's the way up. And there's probably an entrance on this side. Which, yeah, there definitely is. So it'd be, at minimum, four... I mean, with satchels, it would, it, would, it would be stupid. Or we can come over with satchels, go through doors, and wish for the best. I just can't believe that there's a base out here, ready to roof camp. Um, in the middle of nowhere. I cannot believe that. I, I'm still... My jaw is wide open. Despite everything bad that happened, I had one thing going for me. And that was the base itself. I've built this specific design more times than I can count, so I knew exactly how to raid it. Our gunpowder was starting to pile up. Out of all of the enemies I currently had, the base at X3 was the most affordable and reasonable option to raid. But obviously I wanted to wait for Wally to hop on, not only because I needed all of the help I could get for an online raid, but he also spent around 600 scrap yesterday to tech tree satchel charge and beam can. I had nowhere near enough scrap to make a tier 3 and start researching better raid supplies myself, so him hopping on to craft the satchels was our only route to explosives at the time. At this point, I had been on for nearly 3 hours when Wally's name finally turned green, signaling that he was now awake on the server. So when I got back to base from a diving run, I tried calling him, but he wouldn't respond. I was just assuming that he would be getting on soon. So while I waited, I saw an airdrop coming down by the lighthouse boys. I had success last time I fought them, so I headed over to see what I could do. All right, let's go to this airdrop. I know who called it in, and they're not really that good at all, so I'm hoping I can make a play here. What? What? I guess he has an 8x scope on it, man. Fuck me, man. That was a fail. So I ran back over to try and make up for it. Nah, nah. That was an even bigger fail. I refused to end this fight on a humiliation like that, so I headed back over one last time with a pump.
Let's go. Oh my god. You're just going to door camp us the entire time, you fucking pussy. I am gonna go. I think that was one of the best plays I've ever made. Like, what a beautiful play. After winning the fight against the Lighthouse Boys, Wally had finally responded back. I was so excited to show him my progress over the last four hours I was playing. It was just 12 p.m. Eastern for Wally. Plenty of time to close out a story for this wipe. But then, I was given some rough news. Turned out that Wally had obligations he had to do before the concert that were out of his control. He wasn't able to play today at all. So now, I was officially solo. The only thing he had time to do was quickly craft me a satchel and bean can for me to learn. Then, he immediately hopped off for the day. Had I known Wally wasn't going to be on at all, I probably wouldn't have played today in the first place. But in the last four hours, I went through a lot. I farmed, I PvP'd, and I met a new enemy that I hated more than anyone else on the server, even more so than the circle-based trio. Solo or not, I was now on a mission. So I researched the satchel and bean can Wally crafted for me and made 24 satchels with all of our gunpowder. It was a good amount of boom, sure, but with a single garage door costing 9 satchels, I'd have to raid this base to perfection. One wrong use of what I had, and I'd likely not have enough. So I respawned over there one more time to solidify my game plan. Okay, good. It looks like it hasn't changed one bit. Doesn't sound active. Holy shit, he left, he left this part stone. I might go 10 satchels through that right there. The top of the two sheet metal, because basically how this base works is it's the two by two, that's the airlock. So it would be 10 satchels straight down. There isn't a garage door because I can't see it through the wall. So it's straight to here, which is probably a sheet metal door. 14, 18, 22 satchels if it's um, a sheet door in there. If it's a garage door, I'm fucked. I don't even know if this base has garage doors though. Kind of hoping it doesn't, but I think that's, that's what I do. You know what I'm going to do actually? I'm going to try and mark right on the roof of the base and then MLRS. All right, it's fucking showtime, baby. Bring in the AK. Two MLRS rockets from cargo and ladders. Okay, this should be good. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive all the way there. I'm going to place a bag with stashes and I'm going to put all the raid equipment in it. And then I'm going to take the boat with the MLRS only and then go clear scientists, do the MLRS, drive back on the boat and then start raiding. It's literally only two rockets, but if I'm lucky, it'll break the door on the top and then it'll give me a lot of intel. I'm gonna put a stash with the kit here. Stash that. Oh god. Someone's there already. Oh no. Actually like, pretty loaded. Get me the fuck out of here, dude. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, what the fuck? The raid hasn't even started yet. My adrenaline is already through the roof. Okay, where did this hit? Hit like right here. Hmm. So it didn't hit up here at all. Fuck. This is probably like... Yeah. Definitely cheaper to go through the roof. So that was just a waste of time, but it's fine. Oh! No, it wasn't! So good! That is so good! Oh my god. He's fucking online. Oh, dude, I'm going straight through that stone wall. That's straight to TC. I need Bill Plan Hammer. Where is it? Bill Plan Hammer, please. Uh, making a building plan, I guess. No. He had a fucking TC. No fucking way. Right as I began sealing, the owner placed a new TC, blocking me from being able to build. This raid was now in his control. All he had to do was flush me out. Holy fuck. on the wrong bag. He fucking looted me. He left the satchels. And the AK. Holy shit, I'm sealed in here. I need a hazmat. I need a fucking hazmat. Like, so rich, yet so poor. How? With counters outside and the breach sealed, this was my only chance. So with nothing else to do, I sat and I waited. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Fucking clutch! Oh! Yes! So fucking clutch. Oh! Oh my god. It is so loaded. Thank God I spawned on the wrong bag. That honestly saved it. Spawning on the wrong bag saved it because I would have had to fight those that random group that showed up. I raided that in the best possible way. Genuinely the best possible way. Maybe there's some metal. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Oh my God. 
I thought it was over when he put a TC up there. I mean, the content simply does not get better. How the hell did I win that? How? Now you know what this video is named after. The MLRS rockets damaging the exact wall I needed it to. The base owner being online, making it back inside before he sealed. Finding my AK, scraping together enough scraps of armor to survive with 10 health when he peaked. Had any of this not been in my favor, the raid would have been lost. The odds were impossible. And yet, I somehow pulled it off. This was one of the most clutch solo online raids I have ever done. And the fact that it was on the roof camper who stole so much from me at the beginning of the day, man, revenge felt sweet. Like I could demolish that, but I don't know if it's worth the risk. I think I respawn outside first. I think I'm gonna do that real quick. Make sure there's no one out there. Yeah, no one's here, perfect. Demolish that, pick this up, in, ladder. Oh, wow. Holy shit. It's sealed, it's sealed. It's just GG. I am so happy. I am so happy. It was almost a blessing in disguise, dying the way I did after oil rig, because I never would have knew known he existed. I never would have raided it, and I never would have gotten all this shit. It was a fucking investment, dude. With the raid fully secured, it was time to start transferring loot. But moving all of this by boat would take hours. So instead, I respawned back at base and took enough scrap to bandit camp to buy a minicopter. I then made a bunch of trips back and forth with the best loot. I even brought back a lot of the guns and threw them in a drone-only shop to sell them for extra sulfur that I could smelt when I logged on the next day. That's right. I wasn't done yet. I could have considered that raid the end of the wipe because content simply doesn't get better than that. But I still had unfinished business. I made a promise to myself that I would at least try and raid the circle base trio again. With so much intel on the layout of their base, it would be a crime not to. So I made a tier 3 and all I needed now was enough scrap to tech tree the raid supplies I needed. But this wasn't going to be a problem. The amount of scrap and components I got from the raid was ridiculous. So with these comps, I did a massive recycle run, spending half of the scrap gained on the tier 3 tech tree and the other half on the tier 2 tech tree for a rocket launcher. With everything now learned, I made a compound with a few large furnaces. I already sold a ton of guns for sulfur since I started transferring loot. So I used those furnaces to smelt all of the sulfur I currently had and then turned it all into rockets before hopping off for the night. The circle based trio was pretty quiet for all of day two. I was hoping it wasn't because they were busy farming to offline raid me. Okay, day three, and it does not seem like we are offline, which is really surprising to me. Eh, not that much. I sold most of it last night. This is all shop sulfur, so it's all just easy yoinks. My first thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna ladder into my neighbor's base and figure out what the expansions have done to the cost and see if with the amount of rockets we have if it is rateable it's really it's a really cheap base i'm gonna ladder in there though and uh see if i can try and break those turrets so i wouldn't have to worry about the mid raid i decided to head back over with low tier gear and satchel charges to destroy the first turret it seemed like they were offline at the time so this was the best time to do it all right 3500 gunpowder and there's still more sulfur smelting and that's all just like free so It was nice knowing you. No way. 
no way. They both dudded. I gotta go back in there and manually press them. Uh, they're online. No, <laughs> let me press E, please. There's two inside right now. So clearly the circle based trio was starting to wake up, as one of them caught me in the act of destroying one of their turrets. I waited up on the hill to make sure he wouldn't come out to replace it, but during the time I was up there, he didn't even bother trying. It oddly got quiet again at their base. Maybe this guy was just checking if they got offline raided, and then went back to being AFK. So I headed back to their compound and found a cheeky angle to drain the second turret. With that now out of ammo, turrets were no longer a threat. I didn't know how long this was going to last though. Now that the owner knew I was up to something, he could repair these turrets any minute. So I wanted to do this raid soon, but I've already done my fair share of soloing throughout this wipe. I started this run as a duo, so I figured it didn't hurt to end as a duo as well. Like I mentioned earlier, Wally wasn't available today. So instead, I invited Koma to come and help me out. I fail rated the circle based trio once, so I wanted to make sure that this time I did it right. Hey, Koma. Hey. Thank you for coming and helping. Your kit's already oh, no made problem. and everything. Nice. I have 17 rockets. It's not a lot, but I think it'll be enough. This is it, Koma. This is what you and I have farmed this entire wipe for. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've found so much. <laughs> dude, that was so clutch of you to farm that two boxes of sulfur, uh -huh. dude. Good shit. Oh, yeah. I farmed till like 5 a.m. in the night. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, let's hope there's nothing in that toad. Yeah, it's empty. Armored. Okay. Open Loop. door. Oh, I'm going to shoot that. Dude, we're getting DB slugged. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. He <laughs> He's cracked. Hey, it's gone. I got TC. It's open. Can you uh, explore ammo nice. that? Yep. Gone. Nice. I'm gonna look for shit. Oh my god. Oh fine. Holy shit. Oh my god, I got two rockets in a C4 and two rows oh, of GP. Let's go. Two rows? Yep. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna Wait, he's AFK up here. What? No way. <laughs> There's a two AFK? Oh are you kidding me? Careful shot, the, uh, shot, shot, yeah. shot. The SMD. No way that both have K. Turrets are off. I might use rockets to secure the outside TCs. Yeah. They had five bags. Kill the naked. He was close. DB up top. Twice yes. dead. Uh, eight expo that. Is there another one? And the sheet door. And uh, only one CC. Blowing it down. Suck. Suck. Nice. I'm making TC. Sealed. Let's go. Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, we rated that to perfection, dude. Yeah. Sounds fun out there. Hold on. Pushing. One dead. 
Nice. We got a star. What have we got in here? Oh. Any goodies? Oh, this box is under. One bandage? Two hazmats? Insane. Okay. Maybe okay, so th uh... this garage door is where this hall leads. That's good to know. Okay, so we, we got everything then. Yeah, there might be something in here. Oh, in, yeah. In sure. this circle. Oh, there's an AK kit up here, dude. In the uh, small box. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Locker? Someone just took a log and said? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely oh, see, in that see. circle. Oh, oh my god. That was not him though, I don't think. Yeah, that was just some random pipe. I'm gonna go get a tool to break this bag and rockets to blow. Oh! Okay. You open this, you open this. Oh, he's low, he's low. Dead, dead, dead. Nice. Yeah, TSMD. Shoot this bag. Maybe we can soft side oh this and get into the other one. LMG and Star. Oh. Oh. No Ooh, way. Charcoal. Box oh of stone. God. Box of wood. So worth. That is not bad. Straight so into a loot room. It. Wow. I was not expecting a loot room. Yeah. I'm going to stack these TCs. Yeah. Okay. We have robbed everything from the space. Okay. There's literally not a single thing that can possibly exist. My main enemy since the start of this wipe was now gone. It was unfortunate timing that it couldn't have been an online raid. We were prepared for it, but we clearly just missed them. Had we started raiding 10 minutes later, TSMD would have been there to defend all the way through. But in Rust, this is just sometimes how the cookie crumbles. With the defenders and counters cleared out, we did a quick transfer run and realized that we just made back a ton of gunpowder. I know I did an insane online raid yesterday as a solo, but I wanted to end this wipe with one as well. That's when I remembered a perfect candidate, the only other group on the server I've had quarrels with, and that was the Lighthouse Boys. So I crafted as many rockets as I could, and we both headed over to close this wipe out with a bang. Double them dead. Nice. Those might actually be good here. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I'm doubled. I'm gonna, I'm gonna med. Oh, I barely survived. Okay, I'm blowing that top sheet metal door. Oh, he's sealing the bunker. One out of four rocket? Yeah, yeah, four rocket down. Oh, yo. oh shit, I hit you a little bit. Nah, I'm fine, I'm 80. It's open down here. Okay. We need to blow through here. Yeah, okay. Come on. Okay, oh. now we oh, go, shit. we go four, eight down, we go eight down. Open. Two lines of sulfur here. Oh my god, look at the satchels! You open? Dead? Nice. What? Oh no way, it opened up. Again. I died. Wait, oh, there were shotgun traps down there? Yeah, yeah. I can run into tier 3, I think. I'm gonna do it. Oh, okay, I'm good. Ooh, I got instincts and high velocities. TC out. Oh, Lee almost killed me. Oh that thing is God. nuts. Okay, you good? Yeah. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We got more sulfur, but you gotta end it somewhere. Yeah, true. And ending it now, probably makes sense yep that's literally all of my enemies all right cheers man thank you so much for playing yeah no problem all right guys this was a crazy wipe it had such a big up and down like in the beginning it was insane and then we had like a massive losing streak it really picked up with with that play over at the lighthouse base 
and that online raid, of course. I made crazy plays, and then today, even though that yesterday was plenty of content, we raided TSMP and his group at H4 since the beginning of the wipe. Those guys have been bad news for us. And then to top it all off, we raided E4, which is the base that I've been fighting for a lot of the wipe as well. So like overall, just such a crazy wipe. All loose ends have been tied. There is literally really no one else that I know of where they live and that I was enemies with. I mean, I raided everybody, man. I was so close to like quitting a couple of times. So to see myself now, I just wouldn't have believed it. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.